couple episodes ago, I tried hand bending and exhaust and it did not work out. This time we're gonna get it right. I'm kind of going back with my original concept, which is to start with a pipe that has the exact bend I want and then hand bend the slight little bow that I want in the straight section so that they're not straight. Let's recap. I want a constant radius coming out of the head. This is gonna be trimmed and there's not really gonna be a straight section. This is all gonna be tucked in. Then I want a constant radius just wrapping around this motor and I want a slight bow here and a slight vari variable radius, which basically means it's not a constant radius like the outside of a circle, kind of more like a French curve. So it continues bending here and then straightens out towards here. So I found this tube and I have some interesting stuff to report. First, I wanna thank all the people that reached out with some information about the sand pack hand bending with heat method. Not just here, but on Instagram, a lot of people who have a lot of experience with this method of bending reached out with all types of tips, tricks, insights, things I missed, and we're gonna be going through that on this one. I'm gonna be sharing all the information. Speaking of sharing information, there are a lot of suppliers for stainless steel mandrel bent tubes. They usually come in like a 15 or an 18 degree section, a 45, 90, or 180. You basically slice them all together and build your exhaust. That's how I did the Ducati over here. But I want an uninterrupted bend with the exception of here, you're gonna see like a primary stage and then a larger secondary stage. But the secondary stage I want uninterrupted. I also find that most companies have a very specific center line radius, and that is the radius of the bend of the tubes that they offer. Although they offer different increments and different diameter, that's the width of the tubing, it usually comes in a very specific center line radius, and sometimes you have to go here or there to find the ones that you want. There are tight options, there are medium options, and there are long options, except the company that made this tube offers pretty much all the options. Not only that, I specifically spec'd not just the radius, but the degree that I wanted it bent and the leg length. This is an extra 12 inches of leg length, and this is 24 inches of leg length, and the cost per inch to get this costs the same or maybe even less than any of those other suppliers. No gatekeeping here, this is it. You gotta call them up, you gotta be nice, you gotta talk to them on the phone, but they can do it. And this tube is just as good as this tube or as this tube, but only this one is gonna solve the problem that I want today. Speaking of solving problems, last time I did not pack the sand tight enough into the tube and there is an interesting suggestion that I got for that and that is basically to put a bolt in the end of this and when I'm done packing and capping it, I can still tighten it further with that bolt. I also learned that the sand I was using, which is basically glass bead for a media blaster, is not the right thing to use because it's too fine and it's too uniform. You want something that's more coarse and more irregular shaped and that's gonna help keep the shape of the bend under heat. The other problem is that there's ultimately some moisture that will be inside the tube and when you heat the moisture, it wants to expand and that's what blew the hole in the tube while I was packing it. You have to bake it. So I waited till my wife was away and then I used our oven to bake the sand and I'm gonna be begin packing this now. So my main concern is that with this bend, packing it is gonna be a little bit difficult. Like it still should compact, but I can't really get the pipe straight up and down to really wail on it. So I gotta probably come up with something kind of awkward. Hopefully, hopefully that's enough. When it's tight, it should make a ring. But uh, since this, there's this bend in it, I don't want to put a bunch of dents in this, trying to make it ring. Let's try and bend it. So the other thing that they said is that you need to go slow. And I'm actually working with very little acetylene right now. So I'm gonna start 
by just heating it with this, bring it up to temperature, and then use this settling to take it the rest of the way. It's really just bending the nut here. This thing took like five hours to cool down with all the sand in it. it was pretty gnarly. But I think I got the shape pretty much where I want it to be. And uh, it looks pretty subtle, I know, but if you compare it to this spare piece, in case I messed it up, you can see that uh, there was actually a bit of bending. So that was like 10 minutes with the pipe polisher here, and it's pretty smooth, although there are a couple low spots, little dings. There's like a little kink here from the mandrel, and while it was hot, I tried to hammer it in a little bit, and then I used a big wooden mallet and kind of dinged this area too. I think I can sand it out without going too thin on the tube, and so I'm just gonna keep going a little bit more until it smooths out, but you can tell it already looks like a smoother bend. Alrighty, so I think I've got this tube right where I want. I'm pretty sure that I like it. Next stage is to get this fit up. And I can only fit this on pretty much like that. So I gotta trim some out of here to pull this in. And then I gotta find the exact line where this cuts off and this begins. So let's start by trimming this. This is gonna be tough. Well, I'm just going by eye. And I, uh, I don't know. Gotta send it. Alrighty, now is the point where we will begin tacking and welding, but experience has told me that I should probably sit and look at this for a little bit, especially because I'm no longer sure that this is the exhaust I wanna use, muffler. So I'm gonna take a bunch of photos and I'm gonna go to Japan real quick. In fact, I'll be in Japan when you see this. I'm in Japan right now, not now, but now, now. We're gonna come back to this, sorry for a, uh, short video, um, well, I don't know if it's short, but incomplete. I do kind of like this shape though. What do you think? <laughs> 